Next step would be the failure analysis. Also here define failures and create the failure net. It's nearly the same as the function. If you defined all your functions, then it's quite easy to define the failures. Where you start, it depends on you, but I start at the very bottom. So the failure is a negative outcome of the function. If I look on my label, what is the failure of my width and height? Of course, either it's too small or too big. And to insert a failure, you have several ways. You can use failure icon or you can right mouse click and then failures. Or I recommend to insert failures with the direct add function. And there is a shortcut for this. It's insert on your keyboard. If you press insert on your keyboard, then he takes automatically the text of the function and inserts it in the failure. And this can save you a little bit of time because you don't need to type in the function again. With of label to small, enter, then selecting the function again, press insert, and then with of label to big. If I would do it with the icon, I must type in everything, height of label to small, height of label to big. And this takes too much time. For the failure creation net, the same, you have the white cherries and then double click will open the same failure net. And I'm in the third level, so the next level would be the label level. Width of label would be too small. What would be the failure mode on my label? If this would be too small, let's say the area for glue would be too small. So I need here also a new function. Select it, press insert, and then I can change the text of my failure. And in this case, my area to glue be too small. And then I can link the same way as functions, drag and drop, left mouse button to the left, because I'm in the root cause level. And then one level higher would be then my top effects. And I need also to define here a failure. Let's say if my area is so small that my label cannot stick together. Label on bottle does not hold over lifetime, for example. Let's open the failure net. So width of label to small would lead to area to glue ends together to small. And this would lead my label on bottle does not hold over lifetime. Then I need to do the same with my width of label to big. Also in this case, if my width would be too big, then I could have that my label doesn't look like very nice. So I need a new function here. Define new function. Ensure visual appearance of label. A new failure. Visual appearance of label is not harmonic. And I can link this to my width of label to big. And go to my top level. And also here visual appearance is not according customer requirements, for example. In the failure net editor, I recommend to set some display options. Right mouse click, display options. And then you have here additional details. And I strongly recommend to turn on severity, severity maximum. This will come in the next step. My numbering item code here in the levels and structure parts, I would also activate functions because I can now see the function of my failure. And this can help me to see what is the function of the failure. This was the failure analysis. And if you want to test your knowledge and get a certificate, then enroll to my free online course and click here to watch the full playlist about the 7 steps in APIS. Thanks for watching.